Hello guys and welcome to 15 minute HIIT workout at home. I uh, hope you guys are doing good. It's gonna be nice and quick. I am on a little bit early as usual because, well, I like to do a good warm up. Um, so the workout starts at 1 p.m. So maybe you're a little bit warmed up, you can join back in at one. Maybe you wanna join me for this lovely 10 minutes of getting that body nice and warm and ready to work out. Today, as always, we have um, a really high intensity 15 minutes ahead. So I wanna make sure that if we've been sitting down, working from home, our bodies are prepared for what's to come and we avoid any injuries. So those of you who are joining, let's get ready um, to do the warm. Um, you can grab your mat, you can grab a bottle of water. Uh, we're gonna come onto all fours. I'm just getting some cat cows. Uh, I will be pumping the music for the workout, do not worry. Uh, so we're gonna come with our wrists directly underneath our shoulders, knees directly underneath our hips, and go for some cat cows. So we're gonna take a big inhale, and on the exhale, we're gonna drive our belly button up towards the ceiling, and drop down that head. Maybe you wanna wiggle your hips here, Get a little movement in your back, feel a nice stretch. And as we inhale, we're gonna lower our belly button down towards the floor and reach our head up and look towards the ceiling. Imagine like you're trying to squeeze uh, something between your two shoulder blades and get a really nice stretch there. As we exhale, we're coming back up, reaching our belly button up to the ceiling behind us, lowering our head. And we're just gonna go with our breath here and really start to stretch out that back. Maybe you're going slowly, maybe you're picking the pace up a little bit. We're gonna go for 12 reps here. Just using your breath. So remember you're exhaling as your belly button lifts up towards the ceiling. Maybe you're gonna give a little wiggle, stretch out that back. And as you inhale, your belly button is coming towards the floor. You're pinning your shoulder blades back behind you. We've got six more here. Just you having time to just really feel through this movement. We've got three. We've got two. Last one coming up. Make sure this is a good one. Exhale as you reach up, get a good stretch. And inhale as you look up towards the ceiling and pin the shoulder blades back behind you. Okay guys, we're gonna bring it around now. And we're gonna come onto our backs. So you can lie flat on your back, we're gonna look up at the ceiling. We're gonna place our palms flat on the floor. We're gonna bring our heels in towards our glutes. Take a big inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna push to our feet and drive up our hips. I have a nice straight line from my shoulders the whole way to my knees. So I'm making sure I'm tucking in those ribs and engaging my core. Say hi to my dog. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go for 12 reps here. Making sure you're driving up through the feet, you're warming up the backs of the legs. Don't forget to breathe. You can add a little dog if you want, put some weight on. <laughs> the best part about home workouts is having your dog come up and nick your face halfway through. Okay, we're gonna go for six more reps here. Make sure you're really squeezing, driving out those knees at the top. Three, two, and one okay we can bring it up bring it around we're lots of up and down today we're going to come into that nice high plank position so we're going to have our wrist directly underneath our shoulders just like we were at, in cat cow we're going to step it out and uh, we're going to keep our feet together here first um what we're going to do is we're going to we're not going to turn we're going to turn our pelvis down towards the mat so we're not having a curve in our back we're creating a nice straight line from our ankles all the way to the top of our heads, really engaging that core. And we're gonna hold our plank here for 25 seconds. I talked for a lot of that. We've got 20 seconds, just holding, just engaging the core, just to wake it up, to remind it that it's gonna start working. 15, 14, 13, really pressing into that mat, driving those heels to the wall behind you. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, we're gonna keep up, bring our right leg in to meet our right hand into that long lunge. So we're in this nice long lunge position and we're gonna circle with our back foot, just doing circles. We're gonna do 10 circles one way and 10 circles the next way while we're driving out that knee. 
So while we're doing our circles here, we want to really just make sure we're breathing and on the exhales, we let that hip sink in a little bit more. Keep breathing. We've got four more on this side and then we're going to change direction. Three, two, one. We're going to bring it the other direction. Just warming up our hips here. Also warming up our back ankle, getting ready to do a little bit of jumping. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to come back to that high plank position and we're going to bring our left knee forward. Bring that left leg forward into that nice deep lunge. You can use your arm here to gently push out that knee. And we're going to go for those circles. Just like on the other side, 10 one way and 10 the other way. Making sure we're feeling that nice release in our hips. Maybe we're sitting down a lot more. Maybe we're walking a bit more. Maybe we're out running a bit more. Who knows? So we want to make sure that our hips are feeling a little bit loosened out before we start this. We're going to change sides in two, in one. Bring around the other direction, making sure we're always driving that knee out. As we exhale, we're letting our hips sink into that movement. Last four, three, two, and one. Okay, we can slowly come up out of that. Might be a shock to our system. Okay, we can shake our legs out a little bit. We're going to go into a few air squats. We've got three minutes before our warm up starts, so let's go. Let's keep our feet about hip distance apart, maybe a little bit more. We're going to point our toes slightly out. Take a big inhale, hold that in, drop to below parallel, drive up, exhaling and squeezing those glutes. We want to make sure our chest keeps up nice and high and that our knees are driving out. They're not collapsing in. We're going to go for 10 more here, making sure we're getting that really nice deep squat, keeping that form. Keeping that chest up nice and high. <sighs> Driving those knees out. What I don't want to see is the knees collapsing in. We want to keep driving them in. Imagine there's two walls at either side and you're pushing them out. Let's go for three. Let's go for two. And one. Great stuff. Let's quickly bring her in. Stand up tall. We're going to squeeze our glutes. Really squeeze our legs dip together. We're going to take a big inhale and raise up onto our toes. We're going to just do a little few calf raises here, warm them up. We're going to go for 25 reps, really nice and fast. This is definitely going to warm up our calves. You're really creating stability here by squeezing those glutes. We've got 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, so you should start burning, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff. We are going into 30 seconds of skips. So I want you to just skip one leg at a time, driving those knees up. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds. The last bit of your warm up. Just getting those legs ready, getting that heart rate elevated, just a little. Breathe. We've got 20 seconds. 15, 14, 13, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great stuff. It is just going on to 1 o'clock. Take a sip of water. Use this time now. If there's anything else you want to stretch out, maybe you need to do a few ankle rolls, maybe you want to get that heart rate up a little bit more, go for it. Okay, guys, we're going to get ready to go into our 15 minute hit. Woo! All that talking. As always, we've got four movements. So you only have to remember four movements. We will be going 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. That 10 seconds is purely for you to get ready into the next position. We have five rounds. There is no break between the rounds. I'm sorry. It's going to be tough. But it will be over before you know it. What movement we're we going into first? I'm going to talk through them. If you want to write them down, please do. We're going to half burpee into 180 degree turn. My half burpee, coming down, jumping out into that high plank position. Jumping up, flat footed position, turning it around, and back into that half burpee. So, a few things here. We want to make sure 
we come down into that burpee, we have a nice solid plank, just like we did in the warm up. When I'm jumping in, maybe you need to bring your legs a little bit wider to land flat footed. Coming up into that nice squat position and jumping it across. What I don't want to see is jumping up on your toes. You do not want to put pressure into your knees. So maybe you need to land with your feet a little bit further apart and that is totally fine. So we have our half burpee with a turn. Next up, we are going back into that plank position. Wrist directly underneath our shoulders. We're squeezing the glutes, tucking in our pelvis. We're really squeezing that when we tap our shoulders side to side, there is no rocking in our hips. So I'm really using my full body here to ensure I have stability. What I don't want to see is this. You're not really working anything, okay? By working, you are not moving your hips. Squeezing. It's a really good workout for the full body. Half for being to twist, plank and touch. Next up, we are standing up. Option here. Oh, this is gonna be tough, okay. Option number one, high knees, arms behind the head like a prisoner squat, but we're going for those high knees. So this is gonna be quite hard, 35 seconds on. If you are elite, you are doing this, okay? We're going for those knee drives. High knees, keeping that chest up nice and high, keeping those arms up high. That is option number one. High knees with your hands above your head. That will get very tough. Option number two here, hands go behind the head. We're gonna go for knee touches, either side. We can speed that up into a jump, or we can slow it down, just as long as we keep on moving. So you have all your different options there. Go for one that challenges you, okay? <laughs> Definitely go for one that challenges you. I'll be screaming at you. Okay, last movement, our Russian twist. If you have a weight, let's grab a weight. If you do not, that is absolutely fine. We're gonna come up. You wanna get some flesh out from your hip bones. We're gonna come into a nice V position. We're gonna not have our knees too close to her body. They're gonna be a little bit out, keeping our back straight, shoulders back and down, having that nice tension on our stomach. You'll know the position because your core will start to shake just a little. We're gonna bring our arms in front of us, inter interlace our hands. And we're gonna tap side to side while keeping that chest up nice and straight. You're not curling over like this. You're keeping your chest, your shoulders back and down and your shoulders are square. We are turning side to side, working those core muscles. If this is too difficult, you can plant your heels on the floor and have the same, same similar movement. If you wanna make this harder, we're gonna go for straight leg. And you can also grab a weight if you have it. Grab a weight, maybe you have a dog, you can push side to side, you can add that little bit of resistance. Okay guys, are we ready to rock and roll? It is four minutes past one. Let's get this done, 15 minute hit. Make sure your water bottle is out beside you because you're gonna need it. Reminder, 35 seconds on, 10 seconds off, five rounds, no breaks. Let's pump up the music. Let's get ready to go. We have got, oh, there's an ad there. We have got 10 seconds before we start. I'll be talking through all the movements again. Okay, first movement is our half burpee into our turn in three. In two, in one, let's go. Half burpee, landing flat footed, and turn. Let's go. Remember, bring those legs wide on the landing if you need to land flat footed. You're landing into that nice plank straight position, driving the legs up, coming up with straight back, and turning. We've got five, four, three, two, get one more in, and one. Woo! Let's get into that plank position. We're going for those shoulder touches. In three, in two, in one, let's go. Remember, squeezing the hips here, squeezing the glutes, having resistance on that opposite arm and foot, creating that resistance to make sure we're stable. If this is too easy, 
When you tap your shoulder, go for a three second pause before changing sides. What I don't want to see are the hips rocking side to side. Move back five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get up, stand up. We're going to those high knees, those elbow touches. Let's challenge ourselves in three, two, one. High knees. Keeping those hands up behind your head. Keeping that back straight. You're not hunching over here. Your legs are coming up. They are driving up. Keeping those arms up high. Remember your options here. We can tap knee to elbow, side to side. We can add in a skip. And then we can go into those high knees. We've got 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's bring it down. Motion twist. Deep breath. Going in three, in two, in one. Let's go. Remember, shoulders back and down. Chest is proud. My knees aren't in. They're slightly out till I get that nice tension in my core. We've got 15 seconds here. Then we have round number one already complete. 10. Breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. 10 seconds, we're back in round number two. See how fast that went. Woo. Three, two, one. Half burpees into that turn. Let's go.
Let's go. Make sure, if you're not landing flat-footed, that you bring your landing stance a little bit wider. Straight plank position. Jumping up in that squat. And twisting around. You're not landing on your toes here. We're landing flat-footed. We've got 10. Five. Get one more in. Three, two, one. Get ready to go into that plank and touch. Deep breaths in here. Going three. In two. In one. Let's go. Remember wrist direction underneath that shoulder. Squeeze those glutes so we're not rocking. We're stable, working our core. You're not letting do this. You're not lifting your hips. Keep everything straight. Pelvis tucked. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Woo! I need. Deep breaths in. In three. In two. In one. And find the head. Let's go. Keep breathing here. Remember your options. Elbow to knee, side to side. We can speed this up by adding in a skip. Keeping that chest up nice and proud. Keeping those knee drives high. We've got 15. Deep breaths in here. Getting ready in three, two, one. Twisting side to side. Keeping the shoulders back and down. We've got 20 seconds. Remember, heels touch the floor. If you're struggling, you do not stop. If you want to make this harder, we're adding weight or we're straightening our legs. 10, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bring it up, round number 4, yes we're almost there, going in 5, 3, 2, 1, half burpee, let's go, jumping out, landing flat footed, we take that turn, your breath. You've got 15 seconds. 10. 5. 3. Go one more in. And time. Time touch. Bring it down. Deep breaths in here. Going in three, in two. Let's get up, let's go. Almost finished, guys. Over halfway. We've got 20 seconds. Deep breaths here. Remember, pause if you feel strong today. Wrist direct underneath your shoulders. Your back is not sinking. It is in a straight line. Three, two, one. Woo! High knees. Let's get ready to go. Deep breaths in here. Three, two, one. Let's go. Skipping knee drives. Maybe we're just standing tall, doing knee drives. As long as we're not stopping here. High knees, let's go. Those who are doing high knees, let's keep them high. Shoulders back and down, chest proud. 15. 10. Keep going. Five. Two. One. Woo. 
Bring it down. Russian twist. In five. Three. Two. One. Let's go. Catch your breath here. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Come on, work that core. Drop your heels if you need to. Keep that back up nice and straight. Eight. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Round number five. Last round. Well done, guys. You're smashing it. Half burpee into jump. In three. In two. In one. Let's go. Jumping out into that nice plank. Jumping in flat footed. Twisting it around. What I don't want to see is a drop in the hips. You're keeping that nice solid plank. Jumping, landing flat footed. And turn. 20 seconds. Let's go. No stopping. Last round. You're not doing this again. 10. 7. 4. 1. Well done. Take a break. High plank touches. In 3. In 2. In 1. Let's go. Last time we're doing this here. What a tune. 25 seconds. Squeezing those hips. You are not rocking. Fifteen. Ten. Five. And one. Last time we're doing high knees. Whoo! Try to keep high knees up for the whole thing. Three, two, one. High knees. 35 seconds. Let's go. Keep that chest up high. Drive those knees up. 10 seconds down. Come on, keep going. Let's go, don't stop. 15. If you need to stop, let's skip it out. As long as we keep moving, keep going. Seven, four, three, two, one. Whoa. Last exercise. Russian twist. In three, two, one. Let's go. Breathe. 25 seconds left. 20 seconds. Last exercise. So do not drop. Woo! 10. Do not drop your knees. Let's go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa! Oh my God, guys, well done. That was a tough one today. Give yourself a pat on the back. That was serious work. A great way to get a quick sweat on in 15 minutes. And as we all say, there is no fun standing still at home. So I'm gonna bring it into a cool down. If you have time, please join me. Stretch out that body and give your heart rate a little bit of a break to cool down. Come lie flat on your mat. Stretch out those fingertips out behind you, those heels towards the wall in front, and take three deep breaths here. Keep breathing, just stretching that body for two more breaths. Last one coming up, stretching, really giving your body that chance to just allow it to stretch. Okay, we're gonna take our right hand, grab our left knee, bring it across our body. Our knee may not touch the floor, that is totally fine. We're keeping our shoulder blades pinned to the floor here. That's our priority, keeping our shoulder blades pinned to the floor. 
and letting that knee come across, feeling that nice stretch all along the side. And just breathing here for five deep breaths. And on the exhale, let your muscle relax into that stretch. After five breaths, our knee should be a little bit closer to the floor while keeping our shoulders pinned. We've got three more breaths here. Two more. Last one. Great stuff. Let's bring it up to the other side. Take our left hand, grab our right knee, bring it across our body, keeping those shoulders pinned to the floor. And just breathing into this stretch here. Every exhale, let that knee sink a little bit further towards the floor. Let that side muscle release into the stretch. Three more breaths. Last one. Okay, bring it around. You want to bring your knees into your chest. We're going to tuck our chin into our chest here, bringing our shoulders off the floor slightly. And we're going to just roll the length of our back. So we're making ourselves a little ball here and just rolling three times all the way up, tuck our shoulder blades and all the way down to our glutes. And on the next one, we're going to sit up. Woo! Bring it around. We're going to take a nice little stretch behind your backs here. So I'm going to place my palms on the floor. My, the peel of my palm is facing towards my glutes. I'm going to pull back my shoulders, gain that nice stretch across my chest. So my shoulders are back and they're down. And I'm going to just have a little mini back bend here. I'm sure a lot of us before this were sitting at our laptops doing a bit of work or whatever. So this is a nice movement to just stretch it out, reverse. Go for three deep breaths here. If you want, you can lower back your head. That might feel good, that mightn't feel good. See how it goes. Two more deep breaths here. Gain that nice back arch. Last one. Ooh, whoa. Wanna roll your shoulders back a few times. Rock your head back side to side, bringing your right ear to right, your right shoulder. Having a little stretch. Rolling around to the other side. Just giving your neck a little bit of love as well. If anything, we're probably stretching our glutes and we're not doing a lot of upper body stretches. So guys, thank you again for joining me. Another workout smashed. 15 minutes. It was pretty, pretty hard. And I know if you guys are any bit sweating like I am, it was a good workout. Um, so I'll see you guys back here next week, hopefully. And keep it up. Keep it lit. And uh, well done, guys. Friend of all to you. Uh, everyone's doing a great job staying at home. So um, keep it up and it will be worth it. Um, until then, bye guys.